One day, another major disc jockey, Al Jarvis, saw me on the, on the other show, and he called me up one day, and I recognized his voice because I heard him on the radio all the time. He said, would you like to be my girl Friday? I'm starting a television show. I thought, sure, gee, another job. Maybe I'll make another 10 bucks. And it turned out that I was to be his girl Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, so he was going to be on for five hours every day. That's how he did his radio show. And he wanted to do just the radio show except on camera. So he said he'd pay me $50 a week. $50 a week? I was in heaven. And we played records, and then in between the records, we'd talk a little and play the next record. But while the records were on, the, the audience would see us moving around and talking to each other. Well, after the first week, they called in. They said, it's driving us crazy. We need to know what you're saying. So they scrubbed the records, threw out the turntables, and we would ad lib for five hours. Well, I have to be honest, there was only one other station on out here at the time, so it was almost us or the test pattern during the day. So the show was so successful that after three weeks, they extended it to also a show on Saturday and stretched it from five hours a day to five and a half hours a day. So we were on 33 hours a week ad lib. And then all the commercials would come in. Of course, you didn't have tapes or cassettes or anything you could cut to for the commercial. You were doing it all. They'd hand you a piece of copy here, and you'd read it and try to get the sense of it and then ad lib it. The commercials could talk about infomercials. The commercials could stretch to five, six minutes because you were so enthralled with it. But we were all more or less winging yeah. uh, what we were doing because when you're on five and a half hours, there's no way of having a script. Yeah. And it was like going to college. I was yeah. there, overall, I was there almost four years. It was like yeah. going to television college. Whatever yeah. happened on the air, Al was there for two years. Yeah. And then he moved over to ABC with the show. Eddie Albert came in for six months, and uh, who was a major star at that point. But Roman Holiday, the movie started, which was Audrey Hepburn's first movie. And Eddie had to go and do that over in Rome. So I inherited, just because I was there, I inherited the show.